All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bitches of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. So all you sincere Akims, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. With God's of people here for a bit. Another night of horror. Another night of horror. And the Lord going to turn up. And, and guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. Gas went up again. All right? Gas went up again. You know, you Israelites, y'all don't see it. You, you just you just don't see it. Get caught, get caught up. Just get caught up in everything that's coming out of it. Just get caught up in everything that's coming out of the pipeline. Get it. All right? We're living in some deadly serious time. Matter of fact, let's get um, Ephesians right quick. Quick little lesson. Yeah, a quick little lesson through the spirit of you have about Shema The ones that take heed, take heed. The ones that don't, man, nobody cares, all right? We just we just send the message, man. No one cares if you don't take heed. We really don't. Like we say all the time through the spirit of you have about Shema we're not losing sleep. We're not waking up in cold sweats because you don't want to take heed. The men or the women, all right? The men or the women. It's going to be a cold day in hell soon come Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Supposed to be paying attention, Israel, to what's going on. And we know you see something going on. We know you feel something in the air. We ain't talking about Beanie Siegel either. I can feel it in the air. We know we ain't that. We know you can feel something in the air. We know you can feel that something's going on, right? The thing, things aren't right. All right? Like, life is changing. Things are getting real uncomfortable for you, right? We know it, according to the Bible. We know it. We see it. So the scripture is telling us to what? Ephesians 5, 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. You're supposed to be looking around, paying attention to what's going on. Hey, when you go into the grocery store, you're supposed to be paying attention to the prices rising. Go to the gas station, prices are rising. You, wherever you go, prices are rising. People are not, this is not normal. You know, see, this is ab, abnormal um, actions and things of that nature. The, the words escapes me right about now. You see, yeah, this is not normal activity, even though they're painting it as being normal. No. So, look, something's going on, all right? The people are not thinking the same. Uh, more more deletions last night, more deletions this morning. Well, uh, everywhere. You, you, you're not safe. You're not safe at the movies. You're not safe in the church. You see, you're not safe at the park. You're not safe at your house. You're not safe at work. Hey, you're not safe at the beach. You're not safe at the gas station. Guess what? You're safe within the comfort of it all. Within these words, this is our safe haven. This is our refuge. Okay? Coming back to the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And you, and you, you see what's happening to the fools. Still search for a man out the hospital shooting. Y'all still searching for that man? Really? Come on, man. Come on now. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. D deadly serious times. D and then the Lord said they won't be able to escape his clutches anyway. You're not going to escape. And let's just get that right quick. Let's just get it. The, the Lord the Lord's on the prowl. And then Sleazy E trying to make you think that it ain't no God. That it ain't no higher power. Come on, man. And you people fell for it. You Israelites fell for it. It ain't no God. If it was a God, he wouldn't be letting all these things happen. Hell, the God of the Bible is making them happen. Deuteronomy 32, the, the Lord is making it happen, man. What are you talking about? He wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. He is doing it. Let's see. Deuteronomy 32, 39. Just, uh, just a quick little lesson. When the Lord say walk circumspect, you we look, we need to be walking circumspect. I always look up, man. 
Every time you see somebody, don't say they got their head down looking at their phone. Look the hell up. Look around what's going on. Somebody could be watching you, you know what I'm saying, and ready to get at you. Hey, you can walk right off the damn sidewalk, right, right into the traffic. I ain't paying attention. Get the hell off these, these fucking um, social media platforms that ain't teaching you nothing. Always got to be on Facebook. Always got to be on TikTok, Instagram. It ain't teaching you nothing. Ain't open up the Bible. Yeah, the Bible's telling you to walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. You, you can feel it. If you can't see it, I know you can feel it. Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, people are being delivered into the clutches of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call God and Jesus. And can't nobody deliver you from that. Okay? No, no, man. You, you Israelites, two thirds, you are through out here. And it ain't even popped off yet. This, this is the hot summer for you. This is the summer you won't expect in this hot summer. You was expecting just some heat to come through, but the Lord bringing some heat, some real heat to you, the man and the woman and, and the child, your, your animals, the whole shebang. It's going down. I'm looking at the news now, live news coverage now. You, you Israelites ain't safe nowhere, nowhere. Except with your how about she I said, Lord, remember, seek ye the Lord. Seek ye the Lord and look, look, and live. Seek your how about she and live, man. What I, what I want. I'm going to just be like here, there, everywhere. Like I said before, early morning or whoever take heed, take heed. Whoever don't, don't, it don't. I mean, we, we ain't losing no sleep. We're, we're thankful. We're thankful the Lord put his spirit on us to take heed and to listen and to sit the hell down somewhere. Isaiah 55. And, and six, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And you have been given the proper names in the Hebrew tongue to call on. So there's no excuses for nobody now. Why, why, why you think the Lord, you know what I'm saying, deleting a whole lot of people now? Because it's time. It's time now. It's time now. You didn't play it around long enough. Let's go down. 11. So shall my, um, Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. But, so I can, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So this word going out. <laughs> you had all these people walking around trying to get people votes and shit. Like that's going to change something. That ain't going to stop war. See, that ain't going to stop crime. It ain't going to stop nothing. All right? No, no one's, no one's stopping nothing. All right, and that's according to the Bible. Nobody. Let's get this same Matthew sixteen. I'm gonna hit some quick points, then I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up. I got a roll. Same Matthew chapter sixteen. Let's see. Two. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather. For the sky is red now. And you pastors, you church pastors have been lying to your congregation, man. If you only knew what's coming your way, man. You lying ass pastors, man. Yeah, and they everywhere, man. You got to pay for your words, man. Yeah, 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 gas. New record high gas averages. All right? And when gas goes up, guess what? Everything else goes up. You, you, nobody didn't tell you that, though, right? When gas goes up, shit, property tax hike tonight. Damn. What are you people going to do? Can't you see everything is spiraling out of control? You you have no control over, over what's going on. You got any high-ass mortgages, high-ass property tax. Come on, man. You people about to lose everything. Everything, including your mind. Including your mind. And in the morning, it would be foul weather today. For the sky is red and lowering. Oh, you hypocrites, you actors. You can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times because you ain't walking circumspectly. Everything going up. Look, man, you people going to lose it. You people going to lose it. I want to get this, though. 
Uh, I, I want to get this. I made I made a point. You you I made a um a statement. You you're not safe anywhere, you Israelites. But I'm gonna show you where you are safe. I'm gonna so, I'm gonna show you where you can find safety at. You can't find safety in nothing else but this right here. I'm gonna read it to you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read it to you. And look, I'm coming straight out the Bible. Just remember now. I'm reading out the Bible, not the Quran, not the Egyptian book of the dead, not the book of the Mormons, not the book of the Harry Potter and all that. You know what I mean? Not them, the Vogue magazines and things of that nature, you know, that crap that y'all read every morning. Every time you turn around, they got them damn big ass books that ain't telling them nothing. But let's read this, though. Proverbs 18, 10, the name of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. This is your safe haven. All right? The, this, is the, this is where you safe at Israel. When you come back to this word, well, when the Lord puts the spirit on you to come back. You see? The, this is your safe haven. This word. But, but will you ever turn back to it? Only, only the Lord knows. I don't know. Only the Lord knows, and only the elect is going to turn back anyway, all right? Only the elect, but you too busy worried about Jubilee, you know what I'm saying, for the claim. What the hell is wrong with you Israelites? Y'all worried, y'all worried, worried about what's going on way over there. Deletions are going, shit, somebody family um, camper just got stolen. You what the hell is wrong with you Israelites? Y'all worried about the most stupidest things on the face of the earth, but ain't even worried about salvation. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Worried about the most silly thing, worried about with the actors and the rappers and the You worried about all this nonsense. You better worry about yourself. You you better worry about yourself, Israel. Because shit is, shit is going down. It's, the Lord said, woe to that bloody city. It's all full of lies and robbery. Remember, the Lord said he's not going to heal Babylon. Look, look, the, the thrill is gone. The, the Lord is taking the mirth out of this place. The, the mirth is going. Out the wind is gone. All right? You people trying to just hold on to that little bit of hope. Which, which it ain't hope. It's false security. Um, Ezekiel 7, 5, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, once again, who they eagerly call Jesus, God and Jesus, in evil, meaning bad times, and only evil. What part of that don't you understand? And only evil. Evil and only evil. Hell, you can, you can really have a whole lot of people, the buses are going to be extra packed, the subways are going to be extra packed. People getting ready to get out of them damn cars. You can believe that. People getting ready to get out of them cars, out of them Jeeps, them big ass trucks, some F 150s. People about to, you, you watch. In the upcoming weeks, people are literally about to leave their cars at the damn crib. You're going to see more people on bikes. Like that happened a couple of years back. Everybody was riding down bikes to work. But y'all worried about Shazam. With Jamie Foxx and all this other crazy nonsense. And you, you, you rich people, you entertainers, y'all gonna starve y'all asses off more than the average citizen. All right? And, and the thing about it, no one's gonna help you. All right? All you actors, all you rappers, brothers that had dreams of Snoop Dogg and Lil Wayne, Snoop Doggy Doggy Dog and Lil Wheezy, you know what I'm saying? And Soup Kitchen Lines, begging through. They're, they're gonna be looking through out here. Snoop Dogg skin as hell already. What are you people gonna do? Patty LaBelle. Shirley Sheezer and all them. Let me start on like hell. Looking bad at too. Big ass um, um, bags up under their eyes from worrying themselves to death. What does it say again? Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in evil, meaning bad times. You, yeah, you know. E V I L L L L L L L L L. Evil. Y'all already know, man. And only evil, behold, is come. That's all you see, man. All right? So, so it ain't only the weather that's hot. You see, the Lord turned up the heat when it comes to judgment. The Lord said, at his wrath, the whole earth shall tremble. At his wrath, man. Let's jump down. Ezekiel 7, 25. Destruction coming. Let's just click it on it. Let's just click on it. Destruction coming. The church pastor ain't telling you this. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace. 
and there shall be none. The only thing the pastor teaching you is prosperity. Prosperity came and went, man. All right? It's, it's just an illusion now. The American dream is an illusion. It's turning out to be the American nightmare. Look, once again, the Lord says it's going to be worse than any third world country over here, man. Worse. And I forgot what I was going to get, but it is what it is. That's why the Lord said, repent, turn back. The majority of our people are going to die without knowledge anyway. Worried about some damn baseball, basketball, circus and bread. Don't you, you man, shit. And you don't even want to stay in like California and Chicago and things of that nature where, where gas really didn't went the hell up. You man. Even in these small country towns, gas and rent and all that shit that went up. But oh yeah, this is the best place on earth. Says who? Because you ain't never been nowhere else. Of course you're gonna say that you ain't never been, you ain't never left your neighborhood. Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied. They told you what was gonna happen before it even happened, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's all you see going forth throughout the four corners of the earth. You see evils, meaning bad times, you see pestilence, more disease, you see war, crime. So forth and so look. It ain't going to get no better. That's, I might call I might call this lesson that. It's, look, look, and the phone chimed in. It's not going to get any better. All right? It's not going to get any better. And that's according to the Bible. Plus, this place got, has to go. Don't put your trust in this place, Israel. This place has to go. Another night of horror. And you worried about golf. You worried about golf and you worried about tennis. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. And you, you worried about taking a picture near the George Floyd uh, statue. Re really? Y'all fell for that? You did all that damn marching for George Floyd, a drug addict? There, there, there was a criminal, there was a thief that, she, that, that stole something out of the store when it said, thou shalt not steal? You, then you know you Israelites don't know what the hell's going on. Y'all walk, walking and marching for criminals. Die with them then. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in the throne, like all these women is getting deleted. All these men that are getting deleted. They criminals. They crooks. They witches and warlocks. But oh yeah, that, that's who you love though because you the same ones coming back. Tell us free Barabbas. Crucify, crucify our Savior. Lord yeah, I was shy. But oh yeah, free Barabbas. The damn criminal. The crook. You Israelites deserve everything that you get. You, don't you know that? You don't know that yet. You deserve it all. You deserve it in the worst way. And look, and you're going to get it. And you're going to get it. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So don't, so don't be surprised while you're going through the things that you're going through. Don't be surprised when rent goes up. Don't be surprised about the gas, the water, the lights, the, the whole shebang, child care. Don't be surprised when it all goes through the roof. Hell, and you have to make life-making decisions. It's either you pay your light bill or you get some food and very little at that. You see, either pay the gas, the water, the lights, the internet, or pay your rent and sleep in the dark. Dark. Darkness. Very dark. Darkness. The, these are the times that you're going to have to face. Look, they, they're here. You, you, you got to face it now. And it's going to be a famine. Uh, I'm going to just leave that up on the screen. Look, the, the, the Lord revealed his secrets. The Lord revealed what he's got coming down the pipeline. And the Israelites that don't take heed, you know you out of there. You know you out of there, and we're not praying for you, right? So I ain't going to beat a dead horse, man. I forgot that, I forgot what I was going to name the lesson that quick. That's why we need to get the hell out of here, man. You see, we lose train of thought quick. But it's all good, though, because some new bodies coming soon, come Lord's will. Just hold on, Israel. It's going to be a bumpy rise, getting more bumpier. You know, remember, Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest. I will, I will, I will bring out one more. I'll bring out one more, then I'm going to wrap it up. This is not our rest, Israel. The dude hauling ass, stealing that person, um, camper. 
<laughs> oh man, Proverbs 22 and 3, and we'll wrap it up with this. Proverbs 22 and 3, a prudent man, a wise man, foreseeth the evil and hideth himself where within the comfort of within this word, that strong tower, but the simple pass on and are punished. And the, the, the majority of you people on the face of the earth are simple as hell. D-Day. Here, here they go. Here come, here come D-Day. They bringing up that again. Oh, boy, boy, boy. All wars are banker wars. You people don't know that yet. Shalom.